Good morning, dear students. Let's continue with the concluding part of chapter 16, The Foolish Lion and the Clever Rabbit. We have read till now that all the animals had decided that they will be sending one animal every day to Leo's den. Now, after listening to it, Leo said, Fine, I agree. But make sure that the animal must reach me in time otherwise i will kill all the animals of the jungle and from that day what happened every day an animal was sent to his den the lion was very happy to have his food right before him without taking any pain of hunting he could not go for hunting because every day one animal had been sent to his den one day what happened it was the turn of rusty you all know who was rusty class Rusty was the rabbit. So he had to go to lion's den. The rabbit was very old and wise. He was unwilling because he was old so he was unable to move. But the other animals forced him to go. The rabbit thought of a plan which would save his life and the lives of other animals of the forest. He was wise so he had a plan. He took his own sweet time to go to the lion and reached his den a little later than the actual time so the lion was getting very much impatient because he would he could not get food on the right time so leo was angry and said i shall kill them i shall kill them all i was a fool to have agreed to them so the lion got extremely furious when he saw a small rabbit for his meal he became very much angry when he saw the little rabbit was sent for his meal. So Leo was full of anger and he said, You are miserable mouthful. Miserable means having a little value. I shall kill all the animals now. Now Leo got ready to pounce upon that Rusty the rabbit. And Rusty, he hurriedly took a few steps back. Rusty just talked to the lion. Your Majesty, I am not to be blamed for that. Actually, six rabbits were sent to make your meal. But five of them were killed and devoured by another lion. He also claimed to be the king of the forest. I have somehow escaped and reached here safely. So, you all can see how wise the rabbit was. It was a plan. So, Leo said, he was very angry and said, impossible. There cannot be another king of this forest. Tell me, who is he? Where is that another lion? I want to kill him. Take me to the place where you saw him. And the intelligent rabbit agreed to take him to that place. Rusty said, follow me. They soon reached the old well in the jungle. Now Rusty was very wise. So he took him through the well. And Rusty said, this is the place where he lives. He might be hiding inside. And the lion was a foolish one. He just looked into the well and saw his own reflection. He thought it was the other lion. And the lion was furious. He was very angry. So he started growling. Naturally, the image in the water, the other lion was also equally angry. Because it was the reflection of himself, the Leo only. So Leo was very angry. He said, who are you? How dare you say you are the king of this forest? And the voice echoed back because it was the, when his voice echoed, who are you? How dare you say that you are the king? Now, in order to kill the other lion, Leo jumped into the well and the lion hit his head against the rocks and he was killed. He just died in the deep well so rusty's plan was successful and he had saved himself and other animals of the forest and the that ferocious lion was killed he had killed himself when he had just jumped into the well so the wise rabbit who was very old and he had a sigh of relief and he went back to the other animals and just narrated the whole story Rusty was very happy and he said, So dear friends, we can all 
live in peace now. Now, all the animals started to dance and clap as they praised the rabbit for his presence of mind. So, students, the moral of this chapter is wisdom is always stronger than the physical strength. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how strong you are, but if you are intelligent and wise, you can win many battles. You can fight back and win every heart. You can save yourself and even you can save other people in trouble. So students, from this chapter, there won't be any question and answers for this annual exam. You only have to write the word meanings and the hard words in your literature copy. And also, you have to write the multiple choice questions given in the book. I will be giving few more multiple choice questions in the PDF. Please write them carefully and start revising the literature portion for the final exam. That's all for today. Thank you students.